Crazy Joe here with Big Dog Jimmy. We have a prediction here on a blockbuster colossus fight that's going to be going down at UFC 202. The main event, Diaz vs. McGregor to the rematch for revenge or to say, I told you so. Or, you know, um, what was it that Nate Diaz said? Um, that's what I thought motherfuckers or something like that. I forget exactly, but it, it's just so crazy. Um, this is going to be an awesome fight. Who's going to end up getting their 20th pro MMA career victory win at UFC 202? Both men now have 19 wins, I believe, to my understanding. Uh, you know, it is going to be an epic fight. Actually, no, Diaz has 20 wins. Uh, uh, McGregor has 19. Um, just here for some reason, they have one less than over at the UFC. UFC says 20. Uh, sure Dog says 19. So, anyways, so this is going to be crazy. It's going to be happening on August 20th, 2016. Mark it on your calendars, put it in your reminder and whatnot. You don't want to miss this. This is happening at the new arena in Las Vegas at the T Mobile T Mobile Arena, and it is going to be insane. I can't wait to find out who's going to be the co main event, who's going to be on the main card, who's going to be in the prelims, who's going to be on the early prelims. It is rumor that CM Punk will be fighting then, or you know, when uh, when the news breaks on that, I'll be doing a prediction on that fight uh, with Mickey Gallo and CM Punk. But anyway, so <clears throat> Conor McGregor wants revenge. Conor McGregor wants retribution. This fight is going to be taking place at 170 pounds. Like last time in a welterweight fight, uh, both guys having a full camp and full training, and it's going to be interesting. Conor McGregor, 19-3, and three, 17 wins by KO, TKO, one by submission, one by decision. He's never been knocked out, TKO'd. He's lost three times by submission, never lost to the judges. Uh, he's only one time gone to the judges and out of his record. You know, uh, we all know that Diaz, Nate Diaz, was the last guy to beat him and fight him at UFC 196, and he did it by rear naked choke. Before that, Conor McGregor was on an epic run of, I believe, like 17 or 15 fights. Um, let's count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 wins, I believe, in a row. And then Nate Diaz stopped him before he could get his 16th. And uh, very interesting, you know what I mean? And um, the last guy before Diaz to beat him was Joe Duffy. Joseph Idris Duffy. And he lost to Arda, Artajim Stinnikov. I know I just butchered that shit, Big Doug Jimmy. He lost him by knee bar. Every time Connor's loss has been by a submission. Uh, knee bar, triangle choke, and a rear naked choke. Will this be the same? Will it be again? He loses by submission. Well, Nate Diaz, uh, twenty, uh, thirty-one years old, going against Conor McGregor, twenty-seven years old. Diaz has won four times by KO, TKO, twelve submission victories coming from Nate Diaz, a Stockton bad boy. Three wins by decision. He's only been KO, TKO, lost once, submission lost once, eight times. He's lost to the judges. If it goes to the judge, the longer it goes and it goes to the judges, he usually he loses. Unfortunately, he's on a two-fight winning streak. He beat Michael Johnson by unanimous decision and Conor McGregor by rear naked choke. He lost to Rafael Dos Anjos. Uh, by unanimous decision, Dos Anjos just kept on going after those legs. He beat Gray Maynard by TKO in epic fashion. He did have two losses prior to that by TKO to Josh Thompson and Benson Henderson. He had a three-fight winning streak prior to that over Jim Miller by guillotine choke, Cerrone by unanimous decision, and Gomi by uh, submission armbar. And the other ones were in the welterweight division, I believe. Um, but anyway, so the dude is a badass. We all know. Now, what is going to happen? Who's going to win? How are they going to win? Um, last time I went with Nate Diaz. I went with a third round submission uh, victory from what I recall in my prediction. You can check. I'm pretty sure I have a prediction here. Yeah, pretty sure uh, over here at Crazy Joe's Galaxy. I do have a prediction on that one from what I recall. I have that up here at Crazy Joe's Galaxy. Pretty positive I do. Um, you know, so, and that was just, uh, he won in the second round. So, uh, you know, it was, it was even sweeter because he won even earlier. Um, he's got five wins by guillotine, one arm bar victory, four triangles, a key lock, and a re-naked choke with his submissions. So, if you leave your neck hanging out there, He's going to take it, and he's going to choke you out. 
will he defeat uh, Conor McGregor by a um, by submission? I don't think so. I think this time it's going to be the first time ever that Conor McGregor, the notorious Conor McGregor, gets knocked out cold, and it's going to happen when he faces Nate Diaz in a rematch. Diaz has a hell of a chin. I know he's been knocked um, knocked out once, and the only man that ever did that was Josh Thompson. I know uh, that was the TKO head kick and punches. You know, the head kicks can be vicious and lethal, but I believe that Conor McGregor is going to get knocked out. Conor McGregor was on his way to being knocked out at UFC 196, in my opinion. Um, I don't believe that... I believe that Conor McGregor is going to end up getting knocked out by Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz uh, had knocked Conor McGregor, loop and Silly, in the... Uh, second round and I, I try to remember if it was the first round when I just when I seen it but I think it was definitely the second round he cracked him real hard he almost he kept Conor McGregor and shoot in on Nate Diaz in a very awkward uh takedown attempt it was like he just shot down and crawled up on his leg if uh Conor didn't do that and he stood up with Diaz Conor would have got knocked out or it would have been a TKO loss. I believe that's what's going to happen this time. And I believe it's going to happen uh, end of the second or third round. Um, again, I think it's it's going to go. I think it's going to be a second round. Uh, pause, pro, I'm going to. I'm just going to go third round for sure. Uh, Nate Diaz will knock Conor McGregor out within three rounds. I believe it's going to be the third round. Uh, you know, it was like just like last time. It takes some time, some wear and tear. But uh, Connor could get a little too anxious, a little too excited, a little too, um, you know, uh, emotional and stuff due to that loss and end up getting caught and knocked out in the first round. But I believe it's going to happen a third. Big Dog Jimmy does not see it that way. He thinks that Connor McGregor is going to come out and knock out Nate Diaz in the first round. I say, hell no, that ain't happening. Yeah, out of your freaking mind. He ain't knocking out Nate. Nate's going to knock out Connor. You know, we're arguing with each other now. So leave us a comment, like the video, subscribe to Crazy Joe's Galaxy. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like the video. You know, hit, get us uh, get a conversation going in the comment section with how you think Nate will win or how Connor will win. Uh, you know, what will it mean for the winner of the fight and whatnot.